Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor, as a president of the Oxford University Islamic Society, to be able to welcome you all here today, in the most prestigious of venues, for what is most certainly a magnificent occasion. My task here today is to introduce us, your hosts, the Oxford University Islamic Society. I meant to explain who we are, what we do, and how we fit into the university at large. But I would like to take an unconventional route, if I may, by first drawing attention to our attire this evening, the so-called sub fusk the official academic dress of the University of Oxford. The sub fusk is an inter integral part of any Oxford student's life, and we wear it during ceremonies or events of great magnitude. We wear it when we matriculate and are accepted into the university. We wear it when we graduate from the university. We wear it for exams, for official meetings, and sometimes even to dinner. It is the highest level of clothing we can display, and so we wear it today. We wear it to honor this occasion. We wear it to honor our speakers, and we wear it to honor you. Many people think, and I'm inclined to agree, that the sub fusk is beautiful. Others, however, think it makes us look like penguins. <laughs> despite what people may think of the sub fusk, it is intriguing to discover that despite it being an age-old Oxford tradition, it does not originate in Oxford, nor even in England. Instead, it takes its roots from the universities and the madrasas of the Islamic world, which predate Oxford. The gown is the equivalent of the robes of the madrasa student. The mortarboard, which I now hold in my hand, and which we cannot wear until we graduate, symbolizes the Quran, which, grad which graduates in the Muslim world used to tie to their heads at their graduation ceremonies. Similarly, whenever we are in sub fusk we are to carry the mortarboard, just as students in the Islamic tradition are used to continually carry their Qur'ans with them. The right to put it on one's head coming only at the end of one's study, when they are worthy of such an act. 